بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وآله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا الحمد لله we have made it this is the thirtieth and final Ramadan session with regards to these chapters that we started at the very beginning and we conclude today inshallah ta'ala with Surah Al-Rum the thirtieth chapter which has sixty verses and its name Rum being basically the Byzantine Empire. We're told the So the you know Roman Christian Empire that was in the Levant area. So the Byzantines basically or the Romans um, in, in other words too. Sababu uh, why does it have this name a room? We're told in Firadu Surati Bidikri Khabarintisari Rumi Alel Fus. Because it is in this chapter that Allahu Rabbul Alameen in the only place that he actually makes a declaration, a prophecy that the Byzantines are going to uh, basically overcome the Persians in these fights and wars that they've had, um, that they're going to win this next time. We don't know of any other name with regards to this chapter. It is just that and we don't have anything of... Uh, you know, the verses why they were revealed or the chapter as a whole, but we do know that it's a Meccan chapter. And as far as its virtues, the only virtue that we do have of it is that it's from the al Mathani, those chapters that are less than 100 verses, which means that they're repeated, they're recited a bit more frequently, more often. The correlation of the beginning of the chapter to the end of the chapter, we're told, al Hadith wa Intisari Rum. That it's about uh, the Romans or the Byzantines defeating the Persians and Allah Ta'ala's promise being fulfilled, being true. So Allah Rabbul Alameen begins the chapter by saying Alif Lam Mim the Romans were defeated or the Byzantines were defeated. وَقَالَ فِي خَاتِمَتِهَا فَاصْبِرْ إِنَّ وَعَدَ اللَّهِ حَقُّ And he says at the end of it, be patient, be resilient indeed. Allah's promise is the truth. As far as the relationship to this chapter with Al-Ankabut which preceded it, the spider, we're told لَمَّا خَتَمَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى الْعَنْكَبُوتِ بِمَعِيَّةِ اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلَّ لِلْمُحْسِنِينَ بِقَوْلِهِ وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ So we know that Allah Rabbul Al Alameen concluded Surah Al-Ankabut telling us that He is with the believers that are beautiful, Al-Muhsineen, those who in the way that they love they live their lives, that they are living their lives, loving Allah Rabbul Alameen, making sure that everything of their beliefs, their worship, their character and manners, that all of that is beautiful, that they are basically living as though they can see Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And although we know we cannot see Allah Azza wa Jal in this life, that He certainly does see us, therefore we're always cognizant and we're aware and therefore we're living our lives oriented for Him Subhana. He says Subhana then with regards to if that's how he concluded the Al-Ankabut, then this is how he begins Surah Al-Rum. ذَكَرَ فَرَحَهُمْ فِي مُفْتَتِحِ الرُّومِ بِقَوْلِهِ وَيَوْمَ يَفْرَحُ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ بِنَصْرِ اللَّهِ So Allah Rabbul Alami mentioning that he is with the believers at the end of Al-Ankabut. He tells us at the beginning of Surah Al-Rum that the believers will be happy that they will celebrate due to Allah's victory meaning the victory that Allah grants the Byzantines, the, Pers the, the Romans, over the Persians. And therefore we see, subhanAllah, the connectedness. And we've seen this all throughout the Qur'an so far of what we've covered, helping us to realize that Allah Rabbul Alameen is the author of His final revelation for humanity. And we see the interconnectedness, we see the relationship, we see how Allah Azza has intertwined everything of what he has authored for his final revelation for humanity's guidance and we say alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin awwalan wa akhiran wa daiman wa abadan wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina muhammad